Dyslexia is a growing problem among American kids. Experts say as many as one in five American children have some form of it. Now some researchers at Yale are looking at how issues of race and culture intertwine with the tricky diagnosis of dyslexia. And a very famous sufferer was at Yale today to talk about it as well. News 8's Darren Kramer has more. I never knew what that disorder was. I just appeared to be uh, under uh, underproducing. Uh, that I, I gave evidence of a greater intelligence than I was prepared to demonstrate in the classroom. That is American screen and stage legend Harry Belafonte addressing a group at Yale that is looking at dyslexia as a civil rights issue. Belafonte wasn't officially diagnosed with dyslexia until he was in his early 30s. As a kid growing up in a tough neighborhood, he says dyslexia made it that much harder. I was an African American. I was in a deprived community, a press community, and I think all those externals mixed with the uh, complicated uh, thing that, that, that dyslexia offers. This group at Yale is looking at diagnosis and treatment of dyslexia and how diagnosis happens less often in urban communities. Some of the fellow dyslexia sufferers here say some things have not changed. Quite often I was put in what we call the remedial class in the UK, so strutted at the back of the class and sort of forgotten about. And it wasn't until we started doing science classes that um, I found my, my vocation really. And to be honest, I think it's still a learning process. I think even now being dyslexic, I learn something new about it every day and I learn something new about myself every day. Belafonte, of course, learned to conquer his dyslexia. Now he hopes what he has learned will help others in his shoes succeed as well. Now here I am at Yale University, the subject of, a, of, a, of an investigation and a debate for them to find out how did I screw up so long. I'm Darren Kramer, News 8.